Good morning, good morning. Welcome to another Vlogmas video. We are on day nine. Ah, so good. This morning I filmed a little video that I will release tomorrow as my Vlogmas video, but it is just going through all of my whips and figuring out what to do with them. So I feel relieved that I have done that. I feel like it's been a productive morning. I don't have much longer until I need to clock on to work for the day, but I thought I would come on and start this before jumping into work for the first kind of chunk of the day. Tomorrow I am back in the office. I have a dinner with friend, with friend? <laughs> I have a dinner with a friend and I just figured that maybe for some of these vlogmas videos I can start kind of pre-recording something, editing it on a day where I have time and then releasing it for you at a reasonable hour on the day that it's meant to be for vlogmas. So it may not feel as much like a vlogmas video but I feel like I'm still doing my job of doing one video every day and I'm still filming them in the same month so I feel like that counts, right? Please. Please let me know that it counts. I need this. Anyway, we still haven't finished our little kitten, but to be honest, I actually need to start work very soon. So I won't do that. I will do this at lunchtime and I'm hoping that at lunch I can finish this and I'll also make our second kitten. So we can do that together at lunch. Otherwise today is just kind of going to be a work day for me. We do need to walk to the post office at some point so that we can post that yarn order that we packed yesterday. So we'll do that as well. I will take you along for the ride. But for now, I'm going to make a cup of tea and jump into some work. Maybe after I clean my desk. Let me show you my desk. It is a mess. <laughs> I definitely need to clean this before I start my work day. So that is what is going to happen. I'm going to clean my desk, make a cup of tea, do some work, and I will see you soon for some crocheting and a little walk to the post office. I have a little break. And so I thought it could be fun to go through all of the different things that we've actually finished this vlogmas so far. So in eight days of crocheting, what have we finished? Let's do a roundup. Number one, we finished this Georgie goose which was a pattern test for looped with love alex so that's one thing done then we made this little hanger and i know it's not like a fully crocheted thing but i'm counting it i'm counting it we did it it was a thing that i needed to tick off my list that is done then we also and i'm not sure if these are in order or not but whatever it's fine we also did one more cassowary toy so that I could do the photos for my pattern, which is out now. And we also made the emu mod for it so that I could include that in the pattern. So those, we also finished this vlogmas. We made one hungry caterpillar, which is going off to its new home today, which is why I wanted to do this roundup now so that I could send it off into the world. We also finished Started and finished this Brontosaurus toy to try and use up some of the blanket yarn. And then more recently, we have finished four. See what I did there? Four. I finished this guy. I mean, okay, he's not finished. He needs eyes, whatever. Pretty much finished. We finished three cats and I've like very nearly finished the fourth. I'm going to do the eyes after I make the fifth body so that I can do them all together. But more Christmas gifts. Those are all done. Plus we also finished our little raccoon test. He's honestly, the more I look at him, the cuter he gets. And he was already really cute to begin with. So keep an eye out for this. Keep an eye out for this pattern. You hear me? You hear me? Keep an eye out for this pattern. It is coming soon from the girl who knots, Kayla. Also another YouTuber here that you should check out. And finally we finished the bag for my niece, both making a decision on it and actually making it both done. Very happy. So how many things was that? 11 things fully crocheted plus this. So that is 12 finished objects. And you will also see a couple of other things. I finally did the very finishing touches on in tomorrow's whip video. So keep an eye out for that. I'm not going to include them here because it would be a spoiler and I don't want to spoil things for you. That ain't my vibe. So come back tomorrow, I guess, to see what we managed to finish from the dreaded pile of whips. But that's 
it's been a pretty productive vlogmas. Like that has been eight days and 11 makes in eight days. Pretty good, pretty good. I have also had some ideas of other videos that I could be making during this vlogmas time so that it's not all 100% vlogs. So I am gonna like read some of the ideas out and you can tell me which ones you are more or less interested in if you like. So get those typing fingers ready so that <laughs> as I read them out, you can tell me what you think. Number one, whips. You're getting that tomorrow. So lock it in. Number two, I was thinking that I could go through all of the like different crochet clothing I've made and do like a little try on. I'm not a, any kind of model, but I thought, you know, I could just like have a chat about why I made them, what patterns they're from, how much I'll wear them, what I'm gonna do with them. There's definitely a couple that I really like, but I just don't reach for. So we can have a chat about those. Also, I keep talking about how I'm like watching Vlogmas videos or crochet YouTubers while I'm working on stuff. So I thought it could be nice to do a video of like crochet YouTubers that I watch that you should also check out. So if you're interested in that, if you wanna find some more crochet YouTubers, let me know and I will move that video idea up the list and therefore you would also know the crochet YouTubers I watch and you can give me recommendations for others or if you're a crochet YouTuber, you can let me know in the comments of that video. I also thought I could do like a how many of a certain pattern I could make in a certain time frame, which sounds really ambiguous. I was thinking of maybe doing like either, either the chubby frogs or the turtles because both of those sold pretty well at my markets and I do have another market coming up in March, as I have been saying. So maybe I could do like a, how many of those can I make in like two hours or three hours? Some kind of reasonable amount of time so that you can like have, have a guess and it's not gonna be super obvious. If I did it in an hour, it would be like two, which I think is boring. So that's another idea. I also thought it could be fun to make one of the patterns that I've been really wanting to make, which I mentioned in like the end of one of my last videos. So potentially I could make the Forest Guardian finally from Squishy Stitches and do a video on like how long it takes me. So how long all the different parts take me, how long it takes to sew it together. I don't know, just something a little bit different. It's still a little bit vlog vibe, but with a bit more of a focus. I could also do a video on my favorite makes of the year potentially. The only issue with that will be not all of them will be with me, I don't think, but Another idea, potentially. How do we feel about it? What are we thinking? Could be a good way to get some like pattern ideas for yourself as well. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I don't know. Also, I really wanna find more tapestry crochet patterns because I wanna do more tapestry crochet. I really enjoy it. And now that I have better yarns for it, I would like to make some more. Potentially I could do a video on like I don't know, just looking through some tapestry crochet patterns, putting putting up some polls, and by that I just mean like, you know, seeing what you think of some of the patterns that I find, maybe ones of different sizes so that I can slowly work through them. Meh, meh. Oh, I have clips of making my Valor vest, which I did like mostly, pretty much 100% of that vest I made while we were in Europe. And I took videos of every single place I was crocheting it. And my idea was to like rate all the places that I made my Valor vest in and then show you the Valor vest at the end, which by now you've seen because I've definitely worn it in other videos, but that could be fun. I think actually putting that together and filming, see currently I only have clips of the places I made it. I haven't actually done my ratings and like the clips in between. So I'd still need to film them and edit it all together, but I think it could be fun and you would get videos of like Barcelona and Ireland and other places that I made it. So that could be a good one. And it could be a good excuse to actually get it done because I went on that trip in June and it is now, as we know, December. So, you know, it's been cooking for a while. It's been cooking for a while. And then the last kind of ideas that I had were little like crochet and chat type videos. So actually just sitting and working on something kind of like podcast style while having a chat about a couple of topics. Maybe one of them could be like how I started crocheting or something like that. Like my crochet origin story, if you will. And another one, I think I could like get to the end of Vlogmas and do a little like was Vlogmas worth it? <laughs> 
<laughs> this cat is so ridiculous. A little like was Vlogmas worth it video, potentially. Could be fun. Oh my gosh, you gotta you gotta stop. If you have any other ideas, let me know. I was gonna do like a New Year's resolutions kind of stuff I want to achieve or whatever in 2025, which is so close, but I also kind of want to save that for the new year. And another thing I want to do in the new year is a Q&A because I've never done a Q&A on this channel. I've now been making videos for just over a year and I've never done any kind of like intro video, Q&A video, how I got started with crochet video. So I thought I could do like that crochet and chat podcasty style one for how I got started in crochet, but then it could be fun to do a bit of a Q&A, but maybe in the new year? I'm not sure. If you'd prefer to do that earlier, let me know. Otherwise, those are just some of the thoughts that I have had. It'll also help me if I'm able to like film a few in advance and then schedule them for the days that I'm doing stuff. I think I've already said that in this video, but anyway, I am going to get back and do a little bit more work before I take a lunch break. I will see you pretty soon to walk to the post office, have some lunch, maybe make a second cat. See you then. The yarnies are on today. So it just so happens to coincide very well with my lunch break. So I've made myself a little chopped kind of chicken couscous salad for lunch. And now I'm going to watch the yarnies, maybe do some crochet, and then we'll walk to the post office after that. On our way to the post office we just watched the Yarnie Awards and it's just so cool seeing like all of the crochet community come together and celebrate different creators from like all different kinds of crocheting. I don't know. It is fun to watch so thank you Naomi and Zach for putting it on and letting us all come together and celebrate all of the creators we love. I am back home now and I need to do another chunk of work before we have an afternoon to do other things. I need to go for a run after work thanks to my new running program, which actually the run is meant to be tomorrow, but I will be out all day tomorrow so I won't be able to fit it in. So I'm going to try and do it tonight and it's also a bit cooler today, which will be nice. And then let's see what we're going to crochet after work. finished work for the day. Very exciting. I am going to get changed and go for a run before I get stuck into anything else. Otherwise I just simply won't go because I know myself. And then we are going to... <laughs> oh my gosh. I've injured my other arm. <laughs> and then when we are back we are going to put faces on this and this, these two little cats. I made this one during the yarnies. We'll put faces on them and then we're going to continue with a project that I had forgotten about, but I have resurfaced it thanks to the whips video coming tomorrow. So we're going to work on it because it's going to be a Christmas present. So come back soon and find out what it is. Is. I have to say that one of the things I enjoy about going for a run is that I get to choose what country's shirt I'm going to wear because when I was at Worlds earlier this year in November in America, I did a lot of jersey trades with people from other teams and other countries. So today we are wearing Hong Kong. It's such a cute shirt. It has this like background of flowers on it. And it's just nice and simple. And I like a simple jersey. So that's what we're going running in today. is this <laughs> it's like a full-on not in the wound ball 
that they wound. Hiya. friends we are done for the day this video is nearly edited except for these bits that I just have to add in we finished our two little derpy cats so now all five of them are done that is that Christmas gift ticked off the list I think we're gonna have a Christmas wrapping video a bit later because I'm starting to rack up the gifts that need to be wrapped up I also worked a little bit more on this blanket, which will be another gift. And I think tonight I'm going to sit on the couch and continue working on this for the rest of the evening after we eat a delicious chicken noodle salad dinner. That is it from me for Vlogmas Day 9. Thank you so much for hanging out. If you liked this video, please give it a like. And if you want to do me an extra favor, if you know someone who crochets or might like hanging out in our cozy little community, please share this video with them so that they can join in the fun. Otherwise, if you're new here or you're finding us thanks to Vlogmas, please feel free to also subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of crochet, cozy, crafty vibes just waiting for you. So these end things are always so awkward. But anyway, I will catch you in tomorrow's video. Have a lovely evening, day, wherever you are, whatever time zone you're in. I hope it's lovely. Bye!